Director of Art Galleries at National Museums Liverpool. Um, I'd like to welcome everyone to the Walker Art Gallery and the announcement of the John Moores Painting Prize First Prize winner 2018. It's wonderful to see so many people here today and a very, very special welcome to all our exhibiting artists and huge congratulations for getting into the exhibition. It's very competitive, you've done an amazing thing to get in, so enjoy the day. So I'll just talk about what we're going to do, what order we're going to do things in before we start. Um, I'm going to give a brief introduction and then Sir Peter Blake is going to say a few words. And then we will have the announcement by Lubaina Himid. Um, after that, there's plenty of time for interviews and photographs, and the refreshments will continue. Okay, so let's start proper. The launch in September 2017 of Call for Entries for this John Moores marked the start of its 60th anniversary celebrations. The show has been held at the Walker Art Gallery since it began in 1957. That's a history of 30 incredible exhibitions, exhibiting over 2,200 artworks and awarding over £600,000 in prize money. The exhibition is delivered in partnership between the Walker and the John Moores Liverpool Exhibition Trust and we are extremely grateful to the Moores family and the Trust for their generous collaboration both this year's and over many years. Just as intended in the founding principles of the show, drawn up by Sir John Moores in the gallery all those years ago, the prize brings together emerging and established painters and showcases great art in Liverpool. The exhibition is now also a key part of the Liverpool Biennial Programme. Previous winners reads like a who's who of British modern and contemporary art, David Hockney, John Hoyland, Peter Doig, Sarah Pixton, Rose Wiley, Michael Simpson, and of course, Bruce McLean. Since 1957, the winning painting has, with a notable few exceptions, been acquired for the Walker's collection. Many artists who exhibit in the John Moores have a long and deep felt connection with it, as demonstrated by the exhibition, Sean Scully, 1970, which is also on view today. Huge thanks to Sean, who is here today, for exhibiting his work at the Walker during this special John Moore's anniversary. We're incredibly grateful to him for his generous collaboration and support in bringing the show to Liverpool. The John Moore's inspires many, it delights and challenges in equal measure and exemplifies the significant benefits of long-term philanthropy. Most of all, it is a show for artists and your continued support makes it the success it is. In this anniversary year, we want to thank all the artists who have submitted entries, exhibited and continue to advocate for this very special prize. We would also like to thank this year's exhibition supporters, ACC Liverpool, Court Gallery, Mr Peter Woods and Mr Francis Ryan, Waitmans, B.W. McFarlane Chartered Accountants, sponsors of the private view, our hotel partner, Hope Street Hotel, Rathbones, sponsors of the Visitor's Choice Award. This year we had over 2,700 entries, and what you see in these galleries are the 60 paintings, and that's complete serendipity and not purposeful, um, paintings selected by our wonderful judges, artist Monster Chetwind, Lubaina Himid, Bruce McLean, Lu Dong, and curator Jenny Lomax. Thank you to all the judges for all your enthusiasm and contributions. A very special thank you also to Sir Peter Blake, patron of the John Moores Painting Prize, for his ongoing support and for creating the wonderful 60 image to accompany the show. And we're going to ask Sir Peter to say a few words. delighted to be here today because last year we were scheduled to come and had to cancel the evening before I wasn't well so I'm really pleased to be here. Um, my history of, of coming to Liverpool, the first time I came 
through was in the RAF to catch a ferry to, to Belfast in 1953. And then I entered the first three um, John Moore's um, competitions. Um, I remember that one I was rejected from, I didn't get in. One I got in, and then the third time in 61, I won the junior prize, which was um, very nice. I remember I gave it to my dad, who started his own business with it. So that was very nice to, to, to win. Um, and and uh, we've been to, to Liverpool often. Um, Chrissy and I have been um, up and down quite often. And I'm now the patron of the John Moores, so we come for that. And I'm also delighted that um, the ferry is still going, um, which I designed. And I hope the cafe at the Tate is still is still going. So um, I have very strong strong links. And, and, and I, what did I get last year, Chrissy? It wasn't the freedom, but it was something like the freedom of the city, <laughs> citizen of the city or something. So I'm um, really pleased to be here. We, um, the exhibition is brilliant. It's nice that Sean's show is on at the same time. Nice to see that. And I endorse all, all, all your thanks. Um, and hope you'll enjoy the exhibition. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Just a reminder about what the prize is. This year's first prize is £25,000, plus to mark the anniversary, a three-month fellowship at Liverpool John Moores University, and a display at the Walker in 2019. The runners-up will each receive £2,500. So now I'd like to ask Lubaina Hibbard from our jury to announce the first prize winner. Thank you. First of all, actually, I'd like to thank all the artists who submitted work to the John Moore's Painting Prize this year. It was nearly 3,000 paintings, and we looked at every single one of them several times. My fellow jurors, Jenny Lomax, Bruce McLean, Yu Zhaodong, and Monster Chetwin, carefully considered how each work stood up to today's debates uh, about art, and we each thought long and hard about how each work might be able to fight its corner in the future as part of the collection. We couldn't have achieved any of these things without the invaluable help of Sandra Penketh and Bucantes and the very supportive Liverpool Museum staff who were working on the prize. They're superbly efficient at every stage. Uh, we saw some astonishing pictures, huge works, minute pieces, some painstakingly precise, some obviously gloriously gestural. We debated over colours, we argued fiercely about texts, we thought hard about intention, fought, I would say mercilessly, about ideas, marvelled at methods, and amazingly, finally, agreed. After many days of occasionally heartbreaking decisions, the wonderful exhibition here is the result of months of patient planning and detailed expertise on the part of the organising team. It is, in effect, also the passion of thousands of painters celebrated by around, or oh no, exactly, 60 artists whose work really stood out for us. The prize-winning group of works moved us in quite different ways, but we were all sure, in the end, that we wanted to make these artists and their paintings especially visible. Uh, we selected uh, in the, uh, as the prize winners in alphabetical order uh, Billy Crosby, Jackie Hallam, Tom Howes, Joseph O'Rourke, and Shanti Pandey Chow. And the winner is Jackie Hallam. Congratulations to
to all our shortlisted artists. It is a huge achievement by everybody and many, many congratulations to Jackie. Um, thank you to everyone for coming today. I know everyone's get on, take photographs and, and say a few words and ask some questions. So we'll let you do that. But please enjoy the rest of the afternoon and thank you again. Thank you.